Exercising, of course, is a um, popular New Year's resolution. More of us are working out at home, though, because of the pandemic. But if you're not careful, you could end up doing more harm than good. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Killer live for us in Wilkesbury tonight to explain. Mark? Nick, a national survey shows 59% of Americans did not plan to renew their gym membership once the pandemic ends. With at home exercising more popular than ever, experts say you need to take precautions in order to keep your fitness resolution on track and keep yourself out of the ER. 44 year old Michael Ferguson isn't letting the winter chill stop him from doing what he loves running. Uh, I've run 26 marathons over the last 20 years. He says he's determined to pick up the pace in this new year. My resolution this year would be to maintain running throughout the whole entire year. Uh, do about four or five days a week running throughout the whole year. But several injuries, including a troublesome right knee, have taught Ferguson some painful lessons. You have to have proper form, you have to do proper stretching, and you have to do proper preparation. Physical therapist John Martino says too many people with fitness resolutions tend to ignore the safety principles of exercise and instead start off full force. Whatever you're picking up, be it running, yoga, weightlifting, uh, you, you want to take your time. Uh, you want to learn how to do it with good mechanics, good form. Uh, you you want to ease into it uh, to, to reduce your chance of injury. So you want to be up nice and tall through the chest, nice and straight through the back. Even though Ferguson is an avid runner, Martino recommends weight training to strengthen the core and the quad and help with that troublesome knee. And before Ferguson or anyone runs, whether it's outdoors or on a treadmill, Martino recommends getting those muscles loose and limber. You can try running in place. You can do a couple active drills instead of just standing and stretching your hamstrings or stretching your quads for, for a low, slow amount of time. You, you can save that stretching for after after your activity when the muscles are more warmed up. As with any new activity, fitness activity that is, you can expect muscle soreness. But if you are experiencing real pain in your joints, such as your hips, your knees, or your ankles, he suggests it's time to back off from that activity and perhaps even seek professional medical help. And head to PAHomePage.com for more tips on avoiding at-home workout injuries and what to do if you should suffer one. With the help beat in Wilkesbury, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. Interesting. Mark, thank you.